All right, let's integrate this thing. The upper limit here is infinity. That makes this an improper integral. So a lot of times in calculus courses, you're supposed to treat this with a limit. Um, as a physicist, I kind of think of infinity as a number unless it causes some kind of problem. So I'll show you what happens. And in this case, um, it's a very well-behaved infinity. There are no complications. So I want to simplify this denominator. I have a 1 plus something squared raised to the 3 halves power. And wouldn't it be nice if it was just a, a single thing raised to the 3 halves power instead? And so the trig sub that I'm thinking of is 1 plus tangent squared x is equal to secant squared x. So that's a 1 plus variable thing squared that could be smashed into a single variable thing squared. So let's make this substitution. Let x equal tangent of theta, where theta is going, going to be a new integration variable. I have to transform dx as well. That's the derivative of tangent multiplied by d theta. And I'm going to transform the limits of integration as well. So when x is equal to 0, when x equals 0, x is equal to tangent theta. So I, I would get 0 equals tangent theta. I could write that as the inverse tangent of 0, but I'm just thinking, what theta do I put in here to make this true? And it's 0. And then when x is equal to infinity, right? Maybe I should use an arrow and say when x approaches infinity. But when x is equal to infinity, I have the result infinity when I take the tangent of some angle theta. And I have to think to myself, what angle theta gives me an infinite tangent? And in this case, it's pi over 2. The top of the unit circle, because I have the sine function approaching 1 while the cosine approaches 0. And that gives me a, a ratio that blows up to infinity. So I think we're ready to transform this thing. My integral is now the integral from 0 to pi over 2. And then dx is secant squared theta d theta. In my denominator, I have a 1 plus tangent squared theta to the 3 halves power. And that 1 plus tangent squared turns into a secant squared. So I have secant squared theta to the 3 halves. Now, Raising something to the 3 halves power means you square root it and then cube it. So when I square root it, I get secant. Then I cube it and I get secant cubed. So I end up with the integral from 0 to pi over 2. Secant squared theta d theta divided by secant cubed theta. And two of those factors of secant are going to cancel out, leaving me with just a 1 over secant. Secant is 1 over cosine. So 1 over 1 over cosine is just cosine theta d theta. Now we can easily guess the antiderivative, and I get sine theta evaluated from 0 to pi over 2. And the sine of pi over 2 is 1, and sine of 0 is 0. So this comes out to a really nice answer of 1. Um, I wanted to follow up real quick by looking at this in Maxima. Okay, here we are in Maxima, and I typed in integrate, and then I typed in the form of the function, and then I have my limits of integration. X goes from 0 to infinity, and the reason I wanted to illustrate this in Maxima was to show you the symbol for infinity in Maxima, which is INF, or INF. Hit Shift-Enter, and I get 1, so Maxima agrees with our answer.